biscuits time. So, I'm making breakfast for all the guys, and the plan is, I'm going to go up here, and I was growing some sweet potatoes here. Now, I'm on my family farm, I grew up here, grew up in that cabin right there, you know, there's all kinds of fun adventures up in the mountains around here, and I just love growing up here, it's amazing. I'm so blessed to be able to have grown up in the mountains. It's cool up through there with the fog. Home sweet home, folks. Home sweet home. That's cool. Let's check on these worms. My brother used to have a worm company where he was selling worms and worm castings. They're still in there. Just little tiny worms. My plan is that we come over here and we were growing some sweet potatoes. They're probably getting close to getting frostbit, but you can actually cook sweet potatoes kind of like spinach, and it'll, it'll all cook down. Really high nutrition. I mean, I don't know why we don't eat sweet potato vines more, but so we've got some sweet potatoes here. Hopefully, we'll see if they're still alive and uh, we'll be able to eat some good garden guy eats yumminess. Not looking so good. Don't really see any vines. They've been hit by the frost already. But hopefully that means there's some sweet potatoes. Let's look for those. I'm tracing all these vines back to the source. They started all right here. A little one. Some small ones here. It's at least a start. Left the biscuits cooking, and they're probably done by now. Oh, cover. Oh, goodness. One minute left. Side of the dingy cover. We're running. Turns out we have about one and a half minutes left. Hey, better safe than sorry. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful day. I did the rock work on these pillars. That's what I did this spring. Let's 
Let's check out the pear tree, see if there's any pears in it. And you left. I mean, it's looking pretty meager. There's still some on the ground, but they're looking a bit rotten. A little one. A little tiny guy. Hmm. Let's see if it tastes good. Oh, nice little guy. Hmm. Last little pear taste of fall. Mmm. So sweet. Wow, these are so sweet. I think I'm just gonna take these home and bake them later. These are beautiful. Yeah. Folks, say goodbye to Home Sweet Home. I'll be back sometime soon. All the blueberries are looking beautiful. I mean, look at how pretty blueberries can be just in the fall time with all the colorations. <sighs> Goodbye, home sweet home. Just want to put some olive oil on here. Let's see how it's looking. Mm -mm. It's close. Little ones are almost done. Actually, they are done. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna do salt and pepper. Mmm. It's not too bad right there. You can tell it's fresh. Just like really fresh. I'm sad they didn't do as well as I thought they would. I'm sad they didn't do as well as I thought they would. I mean these are not very good looking sweet potatoes. I'm growing sweet potatoes that were like, like, like as big as this bottle or bigger. Like they get huge. I was trying new, um, a new variety out and it didn't do so good so. I might go back to the old variety that I've always done, which is Beauregard. Mm. For these to be really, really sweet, I really need to like let them cure for about a month or two. You harvest the sweet potatoes and then you let them um, stay in a dry space that's got a little bit of airflow and not bright. And um, that way they cure and the sugars the sugar's changed to where, man, they just taste like super sweet. Next year, I plan to grow some way bigger sweet potatoes. Just gotta start them at the right time and put those slips out there. We're gonna have some good stuff next year. But for now, let's munch on these. Thanks for watching Garden Guy Eats. Uh, I've enjoyed it and we'll see what we eat next week. Mmm. Not too bad.